Hey everyone. Hey everyone. How are you? We are here to talk about glasses. Oh, listen. I'm just gonna jump right into it. If you but if you like this video after I'm done, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and keep coming back, honey. Keep coming back. But listen, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Recently, I bought glasses. I got them like maybe two weeks ago, right? Here are my glasses. I'm going to show you what they look like. I haven't finished my makeup because I want to show you what I do to stop that annoying geek ink right here or at least make it easy to manage. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Just wait. But let me show you my glasses. All right, so I got these here in Miami at a high-end um, ophthalmologist eyewear store. Uh, they're called Serge Kershoffer. Okay, Kershoffer. Serge Kershoffer. This is the little, uh, oh no, they fell. Okay, okay, I got them. I got them, girl, when I tell you the price, you're gonna be like, uh-uh. This is my little, my little rag that they gave me in order to clean my glasses. Now this thing came in a whole big box, this gold and white box and a book and blah, and I thought they were gonna start exploding on me. It was just like a big party when I opened the box. I mean, so these are them. Let me wipe them off just a little bit. Okay, and then I'll show you. All right, this these are my glasses. These are them. Um, I love these glasses. I wanted a pair of round glasses. They have this uh, gold side here with the black here. I love how you can see the gold right here. This is what they look like on. I absolutely love them. They are transition frames. So when I go in the sun and they have a light, light hint of blue tint. You can't really see them, but if you were in front of me right now, you could possibly see it, but it's a very light, light, light blue tint. Um, when I wear these glasses out in the sun, they transition into sunglasses. I absolutely love that. I'm sorry, I don't care. I had to pay for that because I knew that these frames, first of all, they cost me $500 just for the frames, okay? And I knew if I was going to pay that, I might as well just go all the way. So by the time I was done transitioning and, and tinting and medical exam and all that, I paid $880 for these glasses. Um, they're very durable. They, they are very, you know, fashionable, if I might say so myself. I love them. I'm going to do my, finish my makeup and I'm going to show you what they look like, um, you know, when I wear my makeup. So what the fact that I wear my glasses is kind of one of the reasons that I don't really do intricate eye looks daily. I never really was that type, but it's even worse now because I wear glasses. People can barely see them. So, um, but I wanted to stop and talk to you guys. Let me hydrate real quick because I'm thirsty. Mm. Ah, love it. My favorite, my favorite brand. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, okay, the five reasons. And I have a notepad because I wanted to make sure I stayed on task while I was doing my makeup. Stay on subject, I should say. <laughs> But anyway, I've already primed. I've already done my brows. As you can see, check out my two-minute brow uh, tutorial for the two-minute brow. Um, I've already concealed and everything already, okay? So we're going to jump right into my makeup. And today, I'm using my Pro Filter because my Can't Stop, Won't Stop is out. And I told myself that I'm going to be good this year. And I'm not just going to be buying and buying and buying things when I have things I can use. And I like this one, too. Like I always state, it doesn't really keep me matte matte all day, but it does um, keep my makeup together. So all I have to do is blot a little bit and, you know, I'm good to go. Especially with a primer. The primer really helps me stay Um you know, keep my makeup from blending, like melting everywhere. But I'm going to use the little cheapy sponges that I bought from um, Burlington the other day. Go check out that video. It's in that haul video. These, I paid $3.99 for a huge bag of these. And when I tell you, I love them. So um, first thing I'm going to talk about glasses is something that I just said a few minutes ago about them. They're expensive expensive if you want a good pair of glasses 
that are stylish you because you're going to be wearing these things every day and i don't know if i mentioned but i can't see far away everything far away is very blurry up close um i can see everything you know perfect but far away sorry i almost dropped that but far away it's horrible horrible so um you know that's the reason that i wear glasses with that being said i need them to drive i need them when i'm like in a store or you know just somewhere that i have to see far away so this is why i bought glasses but they are very expensive you can get a value pair of glasses and i think the best time to get a value pair of glasses is if they're just for reading you know you could get a value pair of glasses but when you're wearing these things every day you want to make a nice investment and you want to buy a pair that kind of matches your style that whether you're dressed up or dressed down, you're still going to be cute with your glasses. And even though I might not wear an evening gown with these glasses, um, I, I still don't care. I probably would still wear them with an evening gown. But if I'm wearing an evening gown, that probably suggests that I'm somewhere that I really probably don't need to see far away too tough. Now, I'm not saying that I'm blind as a black, blah, blah, black. I'm not blind as a bat far away, but I, it, everything is blurry. So, um, you know, with that being said, you need to buy a pair of glasses that are good. They don't have to be expensive, but nine times out of 10, the nice fashionable frames are going to be expensive. Okay. All right. That was number one. Now, number two. Um, style and weight. It it took me a while to find a nice style of frames. With that being said, a lot of the bulkier frames, like mine, the one I just showed you, I put them away now, and I don't want to touch the white thing with the foundation on my hands. But uh, a lot of the ones like that, they're very heavy. Okay, so they don't feel heavy when you first put them on. Please, pro tip. They don't feel heavy when you first put them on, but nine times out of 10, let me show you something. I am going to pull them out because I want to show you something that you have to be aware of. If you have a pair of glasses that have, that are like this with no, um, you know, the little thingamajigums, the little plastic thing that sits on your face, these are going to slide down on your face. And I wish I knew that before I purchased these. So because they're kind of heavy and bulky, they slide constantly and I'm constantly like, trying to pick them up trying to pick them up trying to pick them up and i know it suggests that maybe they didn't they didn't size me properly but i really think that if they would have gotten them any smaller they would have been too small and then um i would have been they would have been too tight and they would have hurt my face okay so with that being said i really really want you to be careful when you're buying glasses you need to make sure that they're super light to the point where you cannot feel them on your face. You almost forget that they're there. But I can never forget that my glasses are on my face. They are super heavy. Um, at first, when I put them on in the store, they were not that heavy. But let me tell you something right now. They're heavy. Okay? Especially after you've had them on for a long day. You know, it's like, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? I've thought about taking them back and seeing what they can do about it. But... I probably will, but honestly, from someone that's worn sunglasses for long, so long, and these are not my first pair of glasses, um, I know that they're not going to be able to do anything about it, okay? And I've tried to see if maybe I'll get used to it. Sorry, I like to blend my foundation in really well. I, I wanted to, I'm going to see if what they could do about it, but I'm pretty sure they won't be able to do anything. Um, I have another pair that are Ray-Ban. Those are much lighter, but they do the same thing. They slide down and then they're after a while become feeling really kind of heavy, laborious. Okay, uh, number three, did I tell you this is five things? I have one bonus thing I wanna tell you guys about glasses, but this is number three so far. Do you know how many times I have can't find my glasses? Oh my gosh, where are they? Oh, I can't find my glasses. Because if I'm somewhere like, let's say my office, and um, I don't really need to look far away, I take them off. Because again, they're heavy, so it's like, oh gosh, I I just can't have them on just all day long, even when I don't need them. 
So sometimes I'll take them off. Like right now when I'm doing my makeup, obviously I have to take them off. And then I go to look for them and I'm like, because right now I don't have a designated spot because I just got them. And I'm always looking for them. Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? And I always freak out like, what if I lost them? Oh my God. Oh my God. Because once you start wearing, oh, this is tip number, this is going to be tip number, this is going to kind of be in tip number five, but I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about it now. Once you start wearing glasses, when you take them off, you can't see. That's when you become blind as a bat. See, before you were just dealing with, you know, the conditions, you could kind of see, but you couldn't. But now that you're so accustomed to seeing clearly and then you take these glasses off, you can't see. You're blurry. So now you're nervous. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm trying to look far away, but I can't see. Oh, my gosh. Where's my glasses? I lost them. But what if I lost them for good? Oh, my God. $880 down the drain. <sighs> pray for me. Okay. Pray for me. So that's the one thing I suggest. That's why you see a lot of people. I even see young people do this now. They have the chain on the glasses and they just kind of hang. <laughs> it's the baby. It's worth it. Especially if you paid a few dollars for those frames. It is worth it to buy the little chain and hang it. Buy the gold ones. Buy the cute gold ones, honey. It's so worth it. So, um, yeah, do that. Buy a chain or when you take them off, just always put into the, come into the habit of putting them inside your sleeve, your little um, holder thing, this and um put them away put them away where you can find them do them like i do my car keys like this when i come home i have one spot that i put my car keys if they're not in that spot they're probably in one other spot probably on my desk and that's it that's it i don't put my car keys anywhere else in the house and that's how you're gonna have to treat your glasses because you will misplace them i don't care how organized you are unless you have a spot for them you will misplace them so, um, yeah, that's the, that's the third thing. So the fourth thing, the fourth thing is it messes up my makeup. Um, when I put, when I put on my glasses on, I already know all this shit right here is going to be jacked up. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to say shit, but, um, it's going to be jacked up and there's not a way that I found to combat it to like make it not happen. The way that I make it easier for me to fix, because when I first started wearing my glasses like a week or so ago, I put them on and it would just completely scrape the makeup off. So what I do now is what I'm going to show you. I'm glad I got to this point while I was talking to you. I do this. I put my concealer on and then what I do sometimes, well, I put a little bit, I conceal underneath first my dark spots. Then I put on and then I put just a dot right here. A little dot little dot where I know my glasses are going to sit because for some reason they don't it doesn't come off on top of my nose it comes off right here I let it dry just a little bit just a little bit mm -mm. just a little bit okay and then I blot it out just a tiny bit I mean it's a little bit so you won't be able to see it anyway and then I bake this area bake it bake bake it bake that area like you're baking a freaking 10 layer cake the rest of your under eye you could do as normal but you have to bake that area okay and like i said again i'm gonna reiterate you could do the rest of your eye your eye under eye Unless you, uh, unless you have glasses like mine, they're kind of heavy. So sometimes they kind of mess up my makeup right here, but it's kind of rare. I must have had my glasses and my makeup on like all freaking night long for that to happen. But yeah, you just go in here and you just freaking bake like your life depended on it. Okay. And you leave it on. And like I said, you do the rest of your face as normal. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. So... It's not, it's not going to stop your makeup from disappearing there. It's still going to make a mark, but it won't be as bad. And when you take off your glass and you have the mark, all you have to do is this. Just press it a little bit to kind of mend the um, 
you know, the makeup melt the makeup back into your face and it will be just fine. Okay. It works for me. I'm telling you, it could work for you. Trust me. Anyway, so the last thing that I'm going to talk about that your makeup does. Actually, I'm going to use my Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess today. Because I'm like real bake stick today. Like you see, I have like this sweater. This is my Victoria's Secret uh, sweater. I love it because it has pockets. It's kind of chilly here in Miami. So we get to pull out our sweaters this season. Even though I feel like the weather here has been more cold than normal. Anyhow, anyhow. Um, so headaches. Listen, Lena especially when you first start wearing your glasses you're gonna have headaches okay you're gonna have headaches it's going to but you have to get accustomed to it and you will get accustomed to it you will um it'll take a few days but you will get accustomed to it just stick it out stick it out stick it out um and you you get really blurry so it's like you can't see you know, it's like, it's just like, oh, I don't want to do this. You want to cry. <laughs> Especially if you haven't worn glasses. If you're accustomed to wearing glasses and you're just buying new glasses, that's different. But it, when I first put these glasses on, my vision was like jumping everywhere. I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? What, what's happening? And I told the guy, I said, I think you guys put the wrong prescription in. This is not working. Uh, the vision is, he was like, oh no, you have to, eyes have to get adjusted to it. Um, one of my, one of my eyes are, are worse than the other. So they put two different prescriptions that made it even worse. Okay. My head was pounding the first couple of days that I got these glasses, like to the point where I felt almost like, um, throwing up. I, I was just literally just like, could not take the pressure of these glasses. So he said that basically what it is, is the pressure in your eyes your eyes are doing this trying to adjust trying to adjust so basically what i did was i just gave it a day or two and after a while it calmed down i didn't really have um any more issues you know it felt just fine putting them on only thing is they still felt heavy um while i was wearing them they still felt really heavy so that's the only thing i could say let's see that's the those are the five things that i would say about um, glasses that I wish that I knew before I got glasses. And to be completely honest with you, I should have just took those $880 and um, added like a, I don't know, it's like a couple grand, I think it is, added it up, saved or whatever. And I should just, I should have just got laser. <laughs> I should have just got laser. But I'm so afraid of laser though. Like, I don't know if you've had laser and you're at this point in the video, 18 minutes, um, please tell me, like, what are your experiences? How long have you had it? Do you think it was worth it? Um, any complications? You know, how often do you have to go back to the doctor? Do you ever have to go get it redone? Because honestly, I, even though I paid so much money for these glasses, I'm still considering going to get laser not right now because girl i gotta wear out my glasses for a while now you know what i mean but um yeah so if you ever got lasik before any of those eye surgeries please tell me please 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 tell me was it worth it please um also a bonus thing i'm gonna make this number six number six is this those glasses are always dirty especially if you wear makeup if you wear makeup, your foundation is going to get in those glasses. You're going to constantly be cleaning them. And even if you don't wear makeup, they just get smudged. I don't know how the hell glasses get smudged. Somebody please enlighten me. Because I, 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 nobody touches your glasses. I don't even touch my glasses. And then when I do touch my glasses, it's right here. So I don't understand how they get smudged. Okay, we're friends here. You can give me all the tea. But um, anyway, that's about it. You know, I just, I really love my glasses. I love the way that they look. 
I love the way that they, you know, they sit on my face. They're so like fancy. On the thumbnail, you'll see what they look like. I was gonna put them on right now, um, but you'll see what they look like on the thumbnail. But um, yeah, I really love them. I really do. I know I'm talking shit, but I really, really do love my glasses. I think they're really super fancy. Uh, let me just show them to you again. Let me just show them to you again, okay? Matter of fact, let me brush this bake off. Let me brush this bake off, okay? But yeah, you gotta do that. I know it looks white, but by the time I'm finished spraying, it'll be normal. But I love them. Mm, 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 mm. They're so stylish. You don't think so? You tell me. What are your thoughts? Do you like them? Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're different? I think they're different. And I know you can't see the blue tint, but there's a light blue tint to them that makes them look so cool. Everybody sees them. They're like, oh, my God, they're so fancy. They're so cool. I love your glasses. I get super compliments. Now, you see how I don't have a mark? wearing them i'm gonna put them back on no mark no mark gotta bake that area you bake that area you'll be good to go but anyway i'm gonna finish my makeup off camera and let you guys go because uh, we already passed 20 minutes and i know you're looking like girl i ain't even making it to the end <laughs> but anyway thanks so much for watching come back again like subscribe hit the notification bell and um, stick around with me. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.